This video is sponsored by Exter. Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And have you ever had a bag or bag strap that was just a little too thin? I've recently switched to a crossbody bag for my everyday carry. And the bag, while great, has a strap that's a tad too thin. And when I have it across my body, the thin strap tends to irritate my collarbone slash neck area when I carry it. So for the solution, I'm of course turning to paracord. Here's how, let's go. I'm doing a small section for this video, but you can increase the amount of cord for a larger strap cushion. And starting from one end, I'm going to tie a double overhand knot, wrap the end of the cord around once and then twice, the second time going over the standing end, and then pass the end through the loops from the left to the right, then cinch up that knot. Next from here, I'm going to form a bite in my cord, and then roughly measure out how long I want my cushion to be. This section I'm doing here is about four inches or 10 centimeters. Now holding the knot end and running end on the left side, I'm going to take the running end and wrap it around the back of the strap and over the front once. Hold everything together on the left, then wrap around a second time. But this time when passing over the front, I'm going to go under the first middle strand and then over the second middle strand. Continue wrapping around the back again. Then when going over the front, this time go over the first middle strand and then under the second middle strand. From there, you're going to continue this pattern of wrapping around the back and then alternate over and under on the front of the middle strands. So it's basically like a basket weave pattern, but with just two strands. Repeat these steps over and over, moving along your strap. Now this strap is by no means a quick release handle wrap like I've done before, but I felt this method would make for a slightly sturdier wrap. So continue wrapping until you reach almost the end of the bite. And if you want to end with another double overhand knot, you can tie that knot before we run out of cord Technically, we could have done this ahead of time to make it easier. Once that knot is tied, you can complete the weave so that the end is coming out from just under the bite. Then to close the loop, we're going to pull on the bottom overhand knot, and that's also going to firm up the wrap. Now our bottom cord is a bit long, so I'm going to cinch that overhand knot back to the edge of the wrap. And then from here, we can cut off the excess. Or if you don't want the overhand knot at the very top and you want it a bit more flat, we can untie the knot, snip off the excess, melt with the lighter and press down on the melted end to lock them in place where it is right under that bite. So I now have a new bag strap cushion for my EDC bag, which also contains something from today's sponsor, Exter. As you're all quite aware, I'm very into EDC or everyday carry as much as I am into paracord, which is why I'm very much enjoying this carbon fiber wallet card holder from Exter. It's super slim and minimal, and most importantly, you can access your cards at the press of a button. No need to fiddle around to get those cards out. And this card holder can hold up to 15 cards plus cash. You can grab your wallet, pop the card out that you need, pay, and be done in seconds. All thanks to this quick card access button. Now, I personally have been carrying my wallet in an EDC bag, but this wallet is so slim and minimal that it's perfect for front pocket carry. No more lower back pain from a fat wallet. So say goodbye to that fat George Costanza wallet and say hello to Exter. There's a fall sale going on right now at the time of this video being made. And if you use my link down below, you can get up to 25% off or just simply use code WOE at checkout. Check the link out down below and thank you Exter for sponsoring this video.